everyone. Today I'm doing one of my absolute favorite collab videos that I host each year and it's our stocking stuffer challenge. Due to just like things being a little different this year and just because I wanted to try to change it up, I, I, wanna, I don't want to feel like you always constantly see the same thing each year. This year instead of doing five or ten we're doing a $15 stocking stuffer challenge. Now I know some of you cannot do $15 but you don't have to do. I'm just capping at absolute most of how much I would spend for each of the kids' stockings. So today's video is all about not going over that 15 mark. If you only spend five each and you get some ideas from this, love it, send it to me and let me know. You can go up to $15, let me know what else oh, so you purchased. So this was my first year actually checking out the Walmart stocking stuffer section, which I think had a lot more variety this year than years past when I've kind of glanced through. And again, usually I've, with my budget, I've usually went to Dollar Tree to find a lot of little things to fill. Now that I have tweens and a teen, it's a little bit different trying to find things that they specifically like. And they each had like one request item and like one favorite candy that they kind of wanted. So let me show you what my tweens and teens, just things that I feel like they would be interested in for 2021 $15 stocking stuffer challenge. And again, if you want to participate in this challenge, let me know in the comments below. Send me your link through Instagram so I can check your video out and then I will add it to the playlist. But let's turn around and show you what this year's stocking stuffers look like. So for the record, my kids are in the other room. I may not be super, super loud. I may play with the audio a little bit whenever I'm editing. So I'm not going to be like super, super loud explaining everything like in complete full detail because I don't want them to hear. They are listening to music and doing school. So I'm hoping that they don't hear every single thing I say. So again, my goal was no more than $15 per person for stockings. And I also wanted to do for tweens. This is my first tween. She's the oldest tween. She'll be a teenager next year. This was something that I found. This was $3. This one is a foot care set. It has a specific foot lotion and it also comes with these little plush socks to wear as well. I'm hoping that these will be something that they can use as practical and something that they can enjoy and also like something that's more for like older kids to use. It's not just like little toys and things because they're kind of past the age of like little toys and things even my youngest tween who's 10 is kind of past that age so i was trying to find something for like tween teen for all three of them but yeah this is hers it is pink and this one is rose water also again they had these for a dollar my kids are a little more specific last year and years past we have bought them the shampoo conditioner body lotion kits from Dollar Tree. They no longer like having their own portable shampoos, conditioners, and toothpaste when they travel. They prefer to just all share one big bottle because it just became so complicated making sure everybody had their own little bitty bottles of different scents and things. And two of them use the same shampoo. My redhead can't. She uses the same one that I do because like my other two are brunettes and I'm a brunette and my redhead can't use what the other two brunettes doing it anyway. So like there's different shampoos and conditioners for each of us, but like when we travel, we all use like one base one that all of us can use. But it became a thing to where like they didn't want like individual. This is something that could go in their backpacks or purses though that they could take with them for different travels and things. And it's just like a body cream and it's a cherry blossom. This one was a dollar. It's something just super small that they can use during the drier weather, which you can hear my voice sounds horrible today because the weather just completely turned to dry and we hadn't had rain in a while. It's finally raining today, so I'm hoping my voice will improve. But this one's like, like I said, it was just a simple thing for her to be able to put in her backpack. All of the kids requested toothbrushes. So I don't even know if they knew that I, I didn't even bother hiding. I just threw them all in the buggy. They didn't ask. They didn't care. So I picked all of them toothbrushes and each of them, I bought one of these. These were all $2 each and I let them each pick one that was their favorite. Apparently my oldest tween, this is her favorite. Not mine, but it's hers and I'm not buying from you. So <laughs> they had these. Mine actually don't wear makeup, but it's just their personal choice. They don't, but they use these for like putting like their these in or their mints or just like any travel necessity thing that they can just put in their backpacks or their purses and go. So I found these and they were only $3. And I was like, yeah, that's a good price. Cause I paid more than that at other places. And I've only ever seen them at in the uh christmas section we've actually tried looking at walmart before for these and couldn't find them and she's really big into like this style print of things so i was really happy to find that i'll be honest from here it's basically the exact same thing because that's another thing with our kids i try to buy matching 
unless like like last year when I had like a nine-year-old like she had some things that were more for kids and then my 13 year old obviously had things that were more for teens but now that they're all tween teen they all basically have like that older kid kind of feel of things that they want so I bought them identical this year so there wasn't really an argument and like if they want to swap these or swap these if I got them wrong or they want to swap these that's fine with me or they even want to swap these I will be fine with that. So this one is, sorry, I got to pick it up to read it. Eucalyptus. Ooh, no, I wish I bought one of those for myself. I did not buy my own stocking stuffers this year. One year when Matt was sick, I did buy my own stocking stuffers. And that was just how it went. Oh, when I get done with this, I'll show you what's in Matt's stocking stuffer. Because I did buy Matt's. But Matt's buying mine this year because he's not sick this year. So, um, but I did, yeah, I would love to have eucalyptus. I like like eucalyptus and mint. Because in the winter months when the throats are dry and the, you know, the, they call it the winter cold, just where everybody's kind of stuffy whenever the humidity drops from like 95% to zero. Anyways, um, so I like eucalyptus and mint. I'm hoping one of them do too. Honestly, I was going for color. I wanted each of them to have a different color, but it's all basically the same thing. And then this one is pink vanilla wash instead of cherry vanilla. Um, and then this one is a rose gold brush and then... Uh, Twix instead of the Rolos. And again, this one, basically same thing. Sorry about the shadow. This one I thought was an interesting print and it was different. Um, I think they only had three designs. No, they had four. Um, and then they have this one. These, like, to me, these feel smaller, but technically these are bigger. So I don't know. I just, I wasn't happy that like those felt smaller than those do, but they don't care if, as long as they get their favorite. So and then I picked this one out and this one is probably lavender. Yep that one's lavender one of these and then that one's the same they only had two different scents of those let me put these away and i'll show you what i did pick out for my husband on the one that i picked up for my husband this is something i've never seen before but i thought this was super cute so instead of like the candy cane or the cane yeah the candy canes filled with candy this one has a hillshire farm summer sausage and like a white cheddar shelf stable cheese or two of them in there this one was definitely more it was like three to four times the price of one of the candy tubes it was something that i thought he would absolutely love so i did this instead of candy he'll still get candy and i may throw in some extra mayonnaise if we have them already like in the house like we usually buy them for like to have for christmas breakfast anyways and sometimes i'll just stick one in there i don't really count it as part of the thing i just take it on my food budget but like if we have them we do if not anyway so either way like the kids will still have candy anyways and he'll have this and he'll be fine with that this was they are doing individual swiss miss packets these are each a dollar and you can get the marshmallow and the milk chocolate i don't think you can get the caramel one which is one of his the one that he really wants to try the most last two things we bought was we buy this for him every year it's not actually that good he just kind of like he'll eat it but like it's not his favorite thing but it's just kind of like a tease thing we do for him and he absolutely loves it and the last thing we bought was a luggage tag and i loved that it. it had like game over controller because like he loves doing gaming so that was like a personal thing for him so that's it for this year's stocking stuffer collab if you want to join the playlist like i said i kind of like to know ahead of time like there's a group that uh for us moms youtubers but like if you don't just send me your link on instagram that way i can view it first because we only put family friendly content in our videos like i can't have swear words or anything like that just because of of just trying to keep our community like all family friendly but other than that as long as i watch it and you don't have any of that in there i will drop it in there just make sure it's 15 dollars or less and you can do it anytime before you know christmas eve because like i'll do a new playlist every year that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time <laughs>